morning. Uh, I am Dr. Nagaraj here. Uh, can I know your name, please? Um, yeah. Okay, hi. Uh, how are you doing? Hi. Uh, I'm not that well. Okay. Uh, we would like to discuss about uh, uh, things that, like, uh, I have been informed that you are not uh, like keen for admission today, and then I uh, heard like that you are having some leg infection. Yes, yes. So, uh, may I know your wife? Of course, you know, um, my wife actually last year in this hospital, this very same hospital, uh, and it's really affecting and it's really traumatized me. So, I would rather stay at home and I'm not going to stay here for sure. Okay, I'm sorry to. Uh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Uh, but, um, I would like to know uh, uh, where are you now? I'm staying my beds by myself. Okay, I mean, like, at, at this point of time, where are you now? Where are you now? <laughs> I'm in the hospital. Hospital. Okay, what is the time? Uh, the time is 2 1 pm. Uh, may I know who am I? You are the doctor, right? Okay, alright. Good. Uh, okay, uh, so, like, uh, apart from that, like, do you have any other concerns? Mm -hmm. So, uh, if I don't stay here, so what is my next option? Okay, uh, for now, like, uh, uh, like based on the examination that we have done, that you're having a leg infection, which is actually required uh, uh, intravenous antibiotics. So, like, uh, uh, probably you need to get admitted and stay in the hospital for at least like five to six days. But then I cannot sleep in the hospital, I really cannot. Is there any better option than that? Mm, there are... Okay, there are certain uh, options like like we we can actually monitor you in hope and then give you oral antibiotics but which has a certain uh, amount of side effects where the treatment won't be sufficient enough to uh, treat you well. So like... Uh, uh, we would like you to uh, inform you that it is better for you to stay in the hospital. Mm, I really don't want. What if I can come and take the antibiotics every day? Yeah, that is uh, actually impossible. But do you really want to discuss with your family members first about your about your decisions? Because. Uh, uh, this treatment is not only about not only about your antibiotic uh, therapy, but also like we will give you uh, IV drips and other uh, things as well. So like imaging and all that thing. So like uh, we would continuously need to monitor you. So is that uh, any of your family members available for the discussion? Mm, but I, I think I can decide for myself. But I have a son. But he can come and help me out if, uh, at home. Okay. He can stay with me during this whole time that I'm not well. Okay. Uh, but you also have to understand, okay, uh, if, let's say, like, you want to go back home, okay, and then, like, you get to treat it uh, in home or, like, uh, just come to get the antibiotic therapy and all, there are certain uh, side effects. Maybe, like, you can progress into uh, uh, severe infection and probably like uh, death could happen. So like uh, you uh, should understand uh, the information as well. Yes, I understand. Okay, can you like repeat what did I say to you? Okay, I know that it is a skin infection, I require antibiotics, I need antibiotics, but then I don't want to stay in the hospital. So if I take uh, oral antibiotics, I maybe the infection, I won't recover. There's a chance that I won't recover. Uh, it will worsen the infection or I can die. All right. So like uh, your option is to come uh, to us every day and get an intravenous antibiotic. Is that yes. right? Yes. So is I... Is that possible? Oh, okay. So discuss with your family members first. Okay. And then if they are okay with it. Okay. And then like you can continue about it. We can move about it. All right. Yeah. So I 
agree with you like you can get the treatment as well mm. so like uh, can uh, i think you can go back home if like your family members also agree with that uh, then probably we will need to have video for intravenous antibiotics so is that okay yes uh, do you have any other questions to ask Five minutes, 40 seconds.